Hey guys, today we're gonna take a look back at this camera that you might have seen it featured very briefly when I did the Yara dash cam, the 4K one, and I kind of put this on the side. And yes, I use it as a back window recorder and it records inside the car and on the back of the car. But what I'm gonna do with it today, we're gonna connect it to our PC and use it as a webcam. And yes, it has low battery right now, but this camera is actually almost perfect for streaming and video calling and zoom and whatnot. Now, let me just put it before we start. It does not need any proprietary software or third party software or nothing. You just plug it to your PC. Let me get the micro USB here. It has a HD output, TV output and USB. HD is micro HDMI, as you see here. Mini HDMI, sorry. When you plug it in, it will go to this screen right here. And in this screen, it says either mass storage or PC camera. Mass storage, you can read the data. That's on your SD card here on the side. And if you put it on PC camera, now your PC will automatically detect this as a webcam without having to install anything else. With an arrow down here, we hit OK. And now we're gonna add a new scene and we're just gonna put it dash cam, which is very weird to see a dash camera scene. And we're gonna do video capture device. And in this one, we're gonna put cross tour, which is the name of this camera, cross tour. Uh, we gotta hit okay. And here it shows as car DV which is direct video or whatever you want to call that. Click it. And when the screen is populated like this, hit OK. Let's put this full screen. Let's go full screen here. And now it is on this camera. And this is actually really, really good footage. As you see, compared to most web cameras and here on the screen, it says only PC camera. So it's not going to replicate and then do all that stuff. And yes, that's my unfortunate Note 20 Ultra, which I broke. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but as you see, the clarity is actually really high. I am extremely surprised or how good this actually records as you see, and it records only with this side of the camera the main one and the quality is really good at least 1080p but real 1080p and very wide especially if you're a gamer that you want to film you know kind of wide angle you can go with this one and yes you can go to settings and change things here you can do device device default and change the fps and all that stuff i'm not gonna do it because i'm not gonna use it for too long but as you see, this is just perfect for gaming and I'm not sure how much they go on eBay. You can probably find some good deals on them. Yes, they have some uh, here that you can put it on a mount and all that good stuff. In my opinion, this camera is actually worth a lot for a webcam. Look at the clarity this one has. It's, it's mind blowing how actually this camera that was made for dash cam connects to a PC and does such a great job. And yes, if you're wondering, you can connect it to all your favorite social media apps, whatever it is, uh, whether it's Zoom or Facebook or whatever. It just connects automatically and it's found as a camera source by itself. You don't need to install anything else. It just works and you don't need to bother with other stuff. So I am not sponsored by Cross Tour, which would be great, but they did a great job with this camera. Yes, that's the name of it. Uh, I don't know the what we would call the uh, model. It's supposed to be here, but it just says made in China and it doesn't really say anything else. I wish it did, but I don't really have other information. The only other thing that says on the back here, uh, GPS, and that's all it says. And besides that, there's really not much more to talk about it. And yes, I use this one as a camera on the back window of the car because it has a great feature of motion detection recording. Let me try to see if I can make it stay because I don't have anything to make it stay. 
but this camera when i have it on the back of the car or on the back window of the car it actually does a great job even when the car is not on and you know overnight or over a few days the battery holds pretty good on this one anything that passes by that that window on the back of the car that i have it mounted it starts recording immediately with both cameras and the front camera the main camera is 1080p and the inner camera is 720 this one is full night vision with ar blasters and all that stuff so it records really good at night this one has to but not really as good as the small one and in my opinion if you're looking for a webcam to start recording or filming or streaming your gaming or whatnot i would actually give a shot to this cross tour I don't know how much they are online as i said i didn't really look them up because those prices vary from time to time and website to website and different sellers so i'm not gonna really give you a price but as you see yourself the clarity and the quality of this camera is really really good and i'm just a couple inches away huh? as you see look at the camera and look at my hand it grabs my entire hand as you see here this is very very good now the focus is what do you call auto focus field focus i don't know what you call that it focuses uh, itself so it's hard to get out of focus unless you're this close but if you're in this distance it does a really really great job you can even see the pores on my skin and with that said i hope you learned something from this video and this was actually really fun to make and i did not even know this camera had this ability to become an actual webcam for your pc and i don't think i have anything else to add to this one just a quick video to let you know what i kind of discovered on myself too that i didn't know before and maybe it helps somebody out there and with that said we'll see you next time please like and subscribe bye